A disturbing find on the Potomac today, a body found in the water near Carter Rock. The discovery raised alarms because the location is not far from where a swimmer disappeared on June 3rd. And Linda Hernandez is in the newsroom tonight to tell us if there is a connection between the cases. Linda. Kelly officials say they do not believe the body recovered is the swimmer missing from Great Falls. At this point, we know an adult male was pulled from the water. His identity still unknown. A recovery effort temporarily hampered by a passing storm for a body spotted in the Potomac. You hear helicopters and then you hear the emergency response vehicles. It does not happen often, but it, it does happen. And uh, you always assume that someone, you know, uh, there was an accident. Officials from Montgomery County Fire and Rescue say four boats and a helicopter were deployed to a climbing area near Carter Rock off the Clara Barton Parkway. We did locate a body. It was a fairly, not necessarily remote area, but a tough area to get to, so we did deploy boats from anglers in. Saw two um, a group of people in boats in like these inflatable rafts going upstream. That's all I saw. Officials say it's still early in the investigation, but they say the body does not appear to be that of 21-year-old swimmer Marco Reyes Sanchez, who went missing from the Virginia side of Great Falls almost two weeks ago. We were hopeful th that this uh, find today would be that swimmer that we've been looking for, but it doesn't appear to be the case. Kayakers at the scene say today's discovery is an unsettling reminder of what could go wrong in these waters. Very respectful with you know, the weather and uh, whatever it is that you do out in nature. There's always going to be a beautiful river, and there's always going to be people who think they can swim in it and they're going to drown. The Montgomery County Medical Examiner says they could identify the victim as early as tomorrow. Live in the newsroom, Linda Hernandez, ABC7 News.